In this video, I'm going to take a look at just a couple of special cases whenever you're solving inequalities. Um, there is a rule or an explanation for these special cases. If u is an algebraic expression and c is a negative number, okay, then we're going to have the absolute value of an algebraic expression is less than some negative number, then we know automatically that we have a no solution. So as long as you want to memorize that rule, it's going to make it very, very quick. And on the second part of that, if we have the absolute value of an algebraic expression and it turns out to be greater than a negative number, then it's going to be true for all real numbers. So all real numbers is going to be your solution. Now, this rule does state that the absolute value bars must be isolated. Okay, so I'm going to do three examples here and show you kind of the difference of what I mean by isolated. All right, in this first one, the absolute value bars are isolated because nothing is being multiplied or added or subtracted to the other side. So these, this right here is a, an example of absolute value bars being isolated. Same thing from this second one as well. Nothing is being multiplied, nothing is being added or subtracted. So that means I can apply the rule directly. On this one, however, I'm, being, I'm multiplying the absolute value bars by 2 and I'm adding 8. So the absolute value bars are not isolated. So I can't just immediately jump to the conclusion that this is going to be all reals. I mean, it could still all be all reals, but you need to get rid of the 8 and divide by 2 and then see what kind of number you've got over there on the right-hand side. Because depending on if this was like, say, a negative 2, when I ended up dividing, I'd have to flip that sign. See, so depending on what these numbers are, it could alter what you see originally. All right, now, taking that and working them out now. Absolute value bars, it's isolated. I've got less than a negative number. When I've got an algebraic expression and it's less than a negative, I know that it's a no solution. So right away, I can just look at that and go, okay, no solution. Okay, that's simple. All right, same thing here. My absolute value bars are isolated and it's greater than a negative number. When I've got my absolute value is greater than a negative number, I know it's true for all real numbers. All right, so um, depending on how you have to write your answer, you could just write all real um, numbers. That might be an acceptable answer. Someone that was doing um, interval notation, they might want to see a negative infinity to infinity. So really, um, either one of those would probably work depending on what kind of format your answer has to be in. Okay, now on this one, all right, I want to subtract 8 from both sides first before I apply my rule. All right, that's going to then give me a 2. Absolute value of x minus 4 is greater than a negative 28. And then I'm going to divide both sides by that 2. All right, and since the 2 is positive, there's no flipping of the signs or anything with my inequality rules or anything. So I've just got absolute value of x minus 4 is greater than a negative 14. Okay, I am now down here to where my absolute value bars have been isolated, and I am still greater than a negative number. So in this case, it did not change my result there. Since I'm greater than a negative number, then this one again is going to be all real numbers. Okay, but just keep in mind that just because this example did not change, all right, it could have very easily changed. Had that been a negative 2 right there, when I divided by the negative 2, I would have had to flip the sign, which would have then turned this one into a no solution. So you definitely uh, do have to isolate those absolute value bars first just to make sure. But then as long as you have got this uh, simple little rule memorized, then your answers are going to be pretty simple, straightforward. Um, definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.